Hi, this is Chrissy and welcome to Sharp Spring Training. Today we're going to talk about the sales pipeline and the CRM features in, um, in Sharp Spring. Marketing automation and CRMs can be useful to have on their own, but when they're integrated, they make a very powerful marketing tool. Most uh, marketing automation platforms, they integrate with third-party CRMs and they send data back and forth between the platforms. Others make you use their own built-in CRM, but SharpSpring, it stands out because it actually has fully integrated marketing automation with a CRM. Um, and it also does integrate with a CRM, existing CRMs. If somebody uh, has been using it forever and doesn't want to switch, they can still fully integrate. But uh, the one of the greatest things about SharpSpring is that it does offer both. Uh, this powerful pairing can completely revolutionize your marketing efforts. It takes your sales and ROI to the very next level. So let's begin by showing you where to find it. So here we always start at this screen. This is the screen you come to when you first log in. You can see we don't have any opportunities set up right now, um, but that's what we're going to do. And uh, this is where you can access your sales reports. But there's this is the marketing side. We've covered all of these options now in our training. And now if you hit the marketing button, you'll see the sales side. So here are the contacts. This is exactly the same. You can reach the same things on this side. Accounts, these are where your, uh, your existing customers are here. And opportunities, this is where your pipeline lives. And then you can have all of your sales reports here. And again, you can see your visitor ID as well. So this is what your sales manager and your salespeople, junior salespeople and senior salespeople will be able to see this side. So let's go get right into opportunities. This is where your opportunities will live. We're gonna edit the pipeline stages. So SharpSpring comes with these preset stages, but they're fully customizable, which is so exciting because you can tailor make this pipeline to exactly what you need. We're going to go through the Coffee Matico sales process. And we're going to reflect that here in the pipeline stages. So initial contact, let's go into initial contact. I'm going to go edit. And this is the sales rep is currently interacting with the prospect to determine if a sales opportunity exists. So we mark this as 10% probability of closing. We can change that if we want to, but should be around 10%. So that's obviously one out of 10. People that come into your initial contact stage, you are assuming that you're going to close at least one of them. How long do you want them in this stage? We put, we want them here for seven days. If there's low engagement, we want an alert to come if there's less than four replies. We're going to set that down to two replies. How many times do you want your salesperson to reach out to that customer? Let's just say we want them to reach out twice during this period within seven days. And you can also put a follow up policy here, which helps your salespeople know what is expected of them. So we want these people contacted every 14 days by phone, four days by email. So you have some additional settings here as well. This stage transition field highlighting. This, uh, this will highlight a field and it's, it's like further information for your sales rep so that they know what's expected of them, what needs to be highlighted so that they, they fill in that next stage. And here, this is the stage transition tooltip message. So when the salesperson hovers over it, it's a message that'll appear to them. Reach out to this customer by email. So we save those settings needs analysis. So we're going to edit this pipeline stage and we can even edit the stage name. So let's, let's change it to analysis of customer needs. And if they graduate into this stage, you have about a 30% probability of it closing. Now you've gotten rid of the people that are completely not interested and in this stage you're now seeing what product and what features would fit this customer so here uh, the description says the sales rep is now assessing how the prospect can best benefit from using our product or service 
And again, you have all of the same health warnings, how many uh, times that they should be contacted and the same setting. So we're going to save that. And then the next stage, so if they agree to this stage, then you can bring them into the next stage where you can give them a demo of the product. So demo and for Coffee Matico, that would be demo coffee maker. And if they want a demo, we can now put that probability up to 50%. So the sales rep is presenting the product or service to the prospect, allowing time for the prospect to review in detail. We're going to we're going to let them think about it for 2 weeks before we start to expect them to move to the next stage. We're going to say we want two engagements and we want them to outreach twice during this time. Uh, they should be contacted every seven days by phone or every seven days by email. And we'll save that. So here now is proposal. We're gonna actually turn this, we're gonna call this deliver estimate to customer. So the sales rep delivers the proposal or sometimes called the price quote to the prospect. You could add things in here as well. So at this point they've seen a demo. Now they would like pricing. So we've now put that probability up to 70%. And we save. So here we're going to actually change this one as well. We're gonna, instead of price negotiation, we're going to call it verbal commitment to the sale. Bob, our Coffee Matico owner, he knows that they're going to verbally commit before they fill out the paperwork. So we're going to make this the last stage. By this time, you're at 90% probability of closing. Sometimes in at the end of a pipeline stage, you're really just worrying about whether they're going to be approved for their financing. So that's kind of where, where this stage can sit. The sales re representative reviews and negotiates the proposal with the prospect. Um, we're gonna change that sales representative has received a verbal commitment and is waiting for the contract to be submitted. As you can see, you can make this as personalized to your company as you want. Let's save these settings. And you'll also notice here you see the default probability of closing. What that does is there's a algorithm within SharpSpring that helps show what your forecast is. So when I was a sales manager in my previous life, I used to have to ask all of the salespeople where they were at with each deal stage. And then I would have to sit there with spreadsheets and try to figure out what our forecast was or what our forecast would be. SharpSpring does all of that for us. We just need to kind of set up what we think is going to happen. And uh, as you see, we're going to build some opportunities and we'll, uh, we'll be able to have a, a pretty accurate depiction of what's going to happen over the following months for in terms of sales. So there we go. If I wanted to add another pipeline, you can also add multiple pipelines. So say if you had different brands, you could set up your different brands or your different pipelines, your different stages um, in a separate pipeline. But for, for Coffee Matico, we only need one. So there we go. We are finished that. So now when we go to opportunities. We can see I'm going to show right here set at hide empty stages. So we can show empty stages. Now let's take Jim Marcus at the Big Jim company and we're going to assign him an opportunity. So this brings us into his contact. If another way to get there would be to go to contact, contact manager and then into the list of contacts. So here we're going to go um, this sale is worth $200. I'm expecting it to close on June 30th. We're at initial contact. It's an open lead and there we go. So we're going to save the opportunity. And if I go to opportunities, I'll see here, it was just put in right here. So now as a salesperson, I can come in here and see my, my pipeline. And once initial contact is here, I can now go, Oh, well, I am going to analyze if the customer really needs this and I'm going to put something, start a conversation with them. So then I would move it to here. Well, now they've requested a demo. So I'm going to go and do the demo. So I'm going to move them to here. Now I want to uh, deliver an estimate to the customer. So now I'm going to move them over here. So you can see that this is the opportunity amount and this is the estimated value. It's at a 70% close probability of closing, 
the estimated value is $140. So now we move it over to, he's told me he's going to buy and now we're just working through some paperwork and now it's at 90%. So you can see that the estimated value is $180. And then if I can click on here and if he has decided, yep, I've got my, my financing in order and now I can close to one. So I've won this sale now and you'll see if we go back to opportunities that he is now off of this pipeline and if you go up here to one you see a list of people that you've won the sale here is a list of people that you lost this is your sales forecast here so you can see uh, which ones are open what the expected value is we've won one um, deal and this is uh, the value of the sale and this is our forecast from uh, may 9th to June um, 4th. So let's close this and let's add a few more. So we're going to go into contacts, contact manager, and let's um, go into his file. And uh, Craig Lambert ends up giving us a call at the office and asks for a quote on some coffee makers. He is, we know from here, that he has the persona of Brian, which means that he is calling from a company and he wants coffee makers for office or lunchroom. So we know that about him when he calls in, we can just look and see what he's interested in. We can also see, you know, anything that's happened with this lead. We can see that he's interested in the Coffee Matico high volume brewer and that he's a small company and he is a B2B company. So now we go into overview and we're going to add, going to add a new opportunity for him. Uh, he wants a few, we're going to do $500, he wants a few coffee makers. So we're going to, and then we're going to put it out to August 31st. He's sit, he tells us what um, date he's kind of looking at. He's an initial contact and save opportunity. And we can go over here and uh, James Garvey, he sends in a, a web form and we understand what he wants. He's been assigned the persona of Jake, which is a coffee connoisseur. So we know that he's interested in a French press. So we're going to give him an opportunity and he wants a French press. And he wants to close pretty quick. And he saw a demo at a trade show. So we're gonna put him at demo coffee maker. Let's open and we save opportunity. Let's give one to Matthew Wilkins. Go in here and we're gonna give him a new opportunity. He wants to buy a bunch of coffee makers for his restaurants and he needs a little bit of time in order. And he's actually given us a verbal commitment to the sale and we save the opportunity. Now, a lot of these things can also be automated depending on what integrations you have. You can automate this based on your even your accounting program when you make an estimate or make a an invoice and if you have questions about that feel free to contact us anytime and we can help you with some integrations and pricing out those integrations with you so now that we have a few in the in the pipeline let's go back to opportunities and you can see we've got a few people here in different stages and now uh, i'm the sales manager so i want to see a forecast and here we go we can see this this forecast, what the total value is and what the expected value is of each of these, these um, things in our pipeline. So this is an excellent, what just took one button click is something that in, uh, in when I was a sales manager would have probably taken me a few days to put together. So now we know that our forecast is $2,100 based on, on our best estimates. So that is um, an outline of the pipeline. And if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call anytime. And yeah, happy selling.